my name is Pixelated Twix. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Boundless Hidden Gems. In today's episode, we are going to welcome you to the Harbingers of Death. Now, I've been teasing this area for a long time, and some of you have been brave enough to come over to Seth America, Seth Merca, and visit us. So, for those of you who have not brave the storm and check us out i'm going to give you firsthand tour of one of the best smallest guilds one of the best because there are many good small guilds in boundless but we just happen to be our own little small but mighty guild over here in the corner of Seth america am i biased sure sure take i'll take it you can come out of a box on me. Get froggy with me. That's fine. I am biased. I don't mind admitting to that. But um, when I say truly, there are some talented people over here building in Boundless, over here in South America, over here in Harbingers of Death. I mean that. Like, wholeheartedly mean that. One of which uh, you are standing in their work of artistry right now. Actually, I think this was a combination of the Chisel Chums. Um, which is Vank and Lance, Lance Lots. We know him affectionately as Lance. And so at least I call him that. I, call, I can call him Lance. I can call him Lance, but you can't, okay? So this is our hub area. Obviously, I'm standing here, and I just want you guys to take a gander. There are plenty of open hubs, uh, portals in the hub, I should say, that you are more than welcome to uh, take it full advantage of. Wait. Yeah, take advantage of the bounty that we offer you. Um, but this is where the magic happens. Basically, all we're asking for is a couple pints of your blood before you sign the book and commit yourself to the harbinger of death life. Is that an oxymoron? Probably. Probably, I don't know. Um, oh, gosh. All right, so if you enter into our hub, I want you to take a gander at this place right here. This is the temple, and as of last week, and what I'm talking about today, this is as of last week, uh, this was finished, and this is the work of Lance, mostly, and Vank, I know, had a hand in this as well. I just want you guys to see how twisted my guildmates are. I am the normal one in the bunch, which is not saying much just so you know it's not really saying much at all because obviously i have some level of insanity to be part of a guild called harbingers of death and call these people my friends and my family even though we don't know each other in real life per se but you know that's just how it is it's weird i know whatever don't judge me but this is a really cool build i love it this gives me slytherin vibes uh death eater vibes but yeah take a gander really cool build lance is one of those quiet storm type builders but you know his style as soon as you see it and the guild kind of has like this um if you're familiar with world of warcraft and you know the death knight um would it be a faction? It's a faction slash race of people because they're dead, undead. But if you know the lore behind the Death Knight and, you know, the story behind Arthas and Ice Crown and all that, um, you would kind of get the vibe of that that particular area in World of Warcraft. Um, so that is kind of the running theme over here is Vank's love for all things Death Knight. And uh, you guys are very dark. They have... They have dark, dark souls. And I am over here to be the light. Um, if I could only be so... <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so anyways. Um, this is the Hunt Hub. We're going to go over here into the Hunt Tower. Now, this is not the Hunt Hub. This is the Hub Hub. Hub. <laughs> the Portal Hub. This is the Hunt Tower. And when you walk in, you probably just see a couple portals. This little doozy right here but please be mindful of the exit signs to your left and to your right um this is a hidden area sort of semi-hidden you go behind here and there are some nice little um tunnels that you can 
enter in at your uh, enter if you dare kind of thing um, there are some hidden areas I'm not going to show you you come in here and find it yourself because I want you to explore it um, this ramp leads up to Vank's area uh, where you can have access to Altenens um, and many, many other places like Alder, um, Betula, uh, Squatch, the Adult Guild. Um, I hope you guys are not doing adult things over there. Let's keep it cute and keep it clean, all right? Um, and many other places. Skelly's place. Let's 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 look at Skelly's place. He's a he's a part of uh, he's a part of HOD. I'm telling you, there's some talented builders in this guild. When I tell you, when I tell you there are some talented builders in this guild, I mean it. Check this place out. I mean, let me just go up these stairs. You guys know I do not like ramps because I have a slight issue. I feel like with vertigo, I don't know why I'm coming up these like steps and ramps and things give me a little bit of vertigo but so i'm going to take it a little bit easy obviously he's still working on this but what he's got done i'm in absolute just awe of and um i was just like a trap door to go down okay that's that's something that uh is none of my business it's none of my business we're gonna walk out this way this looks like compliance um the flight of the, the last the flight no the flight of the navigator if you know, you know. Another cult classic of mine. But we are on Betula, uh, where M makes and Vate make their home, and obviously Skelly. But Skelly has been busy at work making this work of art. He's even got some stuff over here. Yeah, let's take it all in. And then we're going to go back to the main area. But I did not want to leave Skelly out on this because Skelly is a part of the guild. And um, he's got a lot. He's done all of this by himself in a very short amount of time. I've been over on Seth how long now? And I don't even have half this done. But he has done a lot of work over here, and all of it is good. It's like chef's kiss. It's beautiful. Um, yeah. I don't even know what this is, but I believe this is, oh, my gosh. I could just spend my time in this one spot here. Like, what in the world? What in the absolute world? Skelly. Was Skelly part of Iconics? Iconicsburg? What, was he? I don't know, but he is part of, he is ours now. He is ours. And we are. We, we are his no we're hot he's ours he's ours look he's even got it i mean his name is skelly we have skeletons all over the place i mean it's a fit he belongs with us like it was a match made in iceland or iceland icc ice crown look at this place dude i'm i'm so impressed I do remember that this part was built first. So he's made a lot of progression since then. I don't know if this is part of his build or not, but I'm I'm quite curious about what what's going on here. I feel like I need to take HOD in like a bit at a time, which I might do because it's so big and I wanna give HOD, okay. I'm smart. This is part of Iconicsburg. Like, Skelly was part of Iconicsburg. Skelly, tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you were part of Iconicsburg because you're, like, right next to them. And I, I I, feel like some of the style I've seen before, and I feel like I don't know your history. I just know that you're a good builder. And so, yeah, I'm just all black, everything. Like, he just fits right in. The blue and the black, the dark colors, you know, and for those of you who say that once you go dark, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was about to say. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. I, I really don't. Just, you know what? Forget I said it. Forget I said it. Hicks had a moment and it, it, you know what? Just... Yeah. All right. So let's head out back to the Death Gate, back over to our 
illustrious HOD, the main portion of HOD. We're going to go back down this ramp here and find the rest of the hunt tower. So this is up on the ramp on the other side. And then we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you this was built by Princess and Psalm. So I want to give credit where credit is due. The tunnels were built by Psalm and Princess Mod. But this portion of the tunnel was built by Lance and you will see a running theme with Lance. He is a firm believer in all things fiery, lava, dragons. The man is twisted. But down here are our Skyrim-esque catacombs. And this is a tunnel that leads into um, my area because I wanted to build like a hermit away from the rest of the guild. No, actually I wasn't sure how um, crazy large my build was gonna be so I did move out a little bit further but we decided that hey get a little closer we need to connect so this why am I running through here let me let me show you let me show you I am the worst tour guide ever I really am why I thought that I could build a boundless a boundless um, series off of giving you tours of people's places and I run through things like I stole something I mean really but here is I'm sorry about the barking dog in the background I really do apologize she is on she's on one um, but here is the catacombs that were um, inspired by Elder Scrolls it's particularly particularly use your files particularly Skyrim I still didn't say that word right but you know what I mean you know what I mean all right so this leads out into my workshop and we have the Goonie-esque view of the entrance on my side so you guys know I love a good pop culture Goonies is one of my favorite movies never a new story you get to know me you get to know me we'll we'll get to know each other we will okay just just hold your horses. Now, we're not going to take a tour of my workshop because you've been there, done that. It's still in the works, you know. But we're going to come over here, and um, I'm trying to think which part should I start with first. Let's go into the main area, and we're just going to take HOD section by section because this is my home, so I want to give you guys the full the full aspirance of what is HOD. Yes, yeah, so... Here is the um, plaza. This is the entrance to the plaza from the hub. And um, so you'll see that we've got lovely gravestones because these people have dark sense of, sense of humor. I say these people because, like I said, I'm the light over here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not. I'm probably just as twisted as they are. But if you just take a good look at... Um, these buildings I think this is Vank and Lance for sure because the chains and Lance this feels like a Lance build as well Lance did build this too um, and he's got like his this dark tree in the middle here um, coming out the roof um, you see like right there now quick question this is kind of a side note do you say roof or roof pretty sure my family says roof um, that I'm the oddball and I say roof. I might say roof, I'm just thinking about it, but okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, so this is um, this is our like our post office and underneath is the actual like portal hub. But um, yeah, this is where we get our mail. The Great Phoenix War was won by surrender on August 14th, 2022. Is that when we were established? I feel like that, that might be what that's saying feel like that 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 the phoenix is like rebirth so i feel like that that's what that is that we were rebirth on august of 2022 but i could be wrong i, I really could be wrong i feel like it's been uh, longer than that i could be wrong this is a clock tower that was built by vank and over here is um i'm just gonna go this way i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you just just Come with me. Come with me. So this is our guild workshop. There is another entrance to the workshop, but I am not daring enough to go down that way. I'm going to be the heathen that I am and take the stairs. Um, so this is the workshop. Um, I absolutely love where, how this chrysanthemum is um, like in the middle 
right here. And this is, uh, this. these are floors, several floors of, of machines. And like I said, this is the, this is the entrance of the brave. So you can drop down here if you want to, if you want to lose your life. That is completely up to you. That is your prerogative. I'm not trying to keep you from risking it all, hopping down this hole. Um, but I am not willing to do that. But each floor is, uh, there's machines. And um, this was built by Lance. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about the interruption. I had a lot of barking in the background, so I had to go ahead and close the door, unfortunately. But yeah, as I was saying, you can come explore and check it out. It's up to you which way you want to go. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to judge you. Okay, so um, let's see. I'm trying to think how long it's been already because I do want to try to mix it up a little bit and give you guys a like brief overview or like give you HOD and sections. So today I want to give you just like the plaza area. So I think that's what we're going to work on today. So did I show you? Did I show you this? Did I? I did. I did. I showed you. I showed you this. Yeah, I'm, I did. Okay. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure if you're, if you're paying attention. I'm just trying to see. I'm testing you. All right. There will be a test later on. All right. So um, we're going to head out. Um, if I can. Really? We're just going to take the long way out. You know what? You know what? Let's let's go this way. My phone has been the busiest today. Than it, I feel like Friday it just kicks off. Okay, um, let's see, Hunt Tower, back through here, and I'm going to show you one other spot, but I do want to show you guys um, the, um, let's, I want to go in here, because I don't think, okay, I don't think, I don't think I've ever actually stepped foot in here, okay, so this is uh, uh, Vank's Clock Tower, it's got a real creepy look to it, right? Okay, so let's um, start over. First, like I said, we're going to start with the central area and then kind of work our way around. So I will go over on this way. And this is a current whip, so I should warn you. Um, most of our area is a current whip. But um, this is our quest hall. So what do you do here? If you have any requests that you would like the guild to fulfill, you just come over here and... and uh, We'll do your bidding for a for a cost, you know, for a little cost, not a lot, just a little bit, but um, for our time and labor. But you, seriously, if you have something that you are in need of, um, I do believe that this is available to the public. Now, we don't have anybody manning this uh, help desk quite yet, but we are taking applications, Gildies, you know, to, to man the help desk. Um, but yeah, this is our quest hall. And then if you follow behind here, we've got like what is the beginnings of our marketplace where we'll be selling goods and treasures. Ooh, what is this? I don't know, but I like it. What is this going to be? How come I didn't notice this before? Are these like weights? Or is this like a, uh, is this a car? Or the beginning of a car or something? Anyways, um... This is uh, M's build. I'm not sure what her store is gonna carry, but this is so cute. I love these colors. It's so fancy, you know, it's just fancy. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Um, and this is Lance's carriage with his, his little wild stock. He's selling torches. There's a hole down here. Oh, this is cool. So is this like a like a treasure? That's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a Lance build. I mean, obviously this is Lance's, his traveler shop. That's cute, I like it, okay. And this is Vank's corrupt tombstone and he's got like some random stuff here. Um, he'll be selling orchards and these kind of things here. Um, I like this. It's like it's it follows a theme. It follows a theme. You guys know um, Death theme and then I'm over here talking about some Milky's donut shop You know Lance at least keeps well. I gotta keep with my theme, too Yeah, okay. All right, so this is my donut shop. I'll be selling donuts 
Um, so that's that. And then this is a for sale sign in a store that's available. I don't know if, what, what we're going to do over here. And then over here is one of Vink's. That is one tall tower. I just really kind of realized being up close and personal with the tower. Being close to the tower. I... That is tall. Holy. How many plots is that? Just out of curiosity. What? All right. So behind the, the guild request hall and behind the hunt hub, we have got um, our village builds. And so this isn't going to be shops, but I guess you could make them shops. But we've got the Chisel Chums Boutique, which I think is really clever because they're not really selling chisels, but the, the chisel type right and so oh wait wait let me read these blocks okay yeah mm -hmm. and then they've got like this medieval build over here which i freaking love i love medieval builds uh, honestly there's really not a build style that i'm not really a fan of i just like good architecture if you're a good builder i just like it i know what i like i like what i i, I know what i like i like what i you know what um, so, yeah, Lance and Vank are building this stable and this, um, looks like a pub, right? It, get, it looks like a pub. It's probably not a pub, but it looks like a pub. Like, a pub and a stable, like, make sense together. Like, you would, you would stable your horse right here and then go in and have yourself a pint. Like, doesn't that give you that whole vibe? I don't know. It, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. And then over here is my dystopian fusion. Like it's that whole thing with the the cyberpunk. You guys know. You know. You know by now. This is my this is my thing. Okay. And then I'm continuing on with my robotics garage that I'm I'm working on this. So you don't need to see that. All right. So this so far is the I want to say central area, like portion of the central area. I'm going to show you guys the rest in a different video because I don't want this video to run too too long. And there was one other build that i wanted to show you guys and so um, i promise you we will see more of hod as it progresses but i wanted to start there and then go from i wanted to start here and then go from there no strike that rewind i don't even know what i'm talking about at this point so i do want to creep over to one more spot and um uh, let me, oh, I didn't even show you guys real quick. These are our statues. This is Vank. This is M. That's Lance. MB, y'all know. Lance Lots. Rogith is over there in the, the lovely blue beard. And, okay, I can't, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm stepping in somebody's grave. And then over here is Pix. Luna Shale. All right, so let's head it on, head on down, and I want to go through one more portal. And listen, I realize I've been over here before, but I want y'all to see. So I'm a huge fan of this IP. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to see this. Like I, I have to see this. I have to, I have to record this. I have to show this off. This is freaking amazing. So. I'm excited because I only stepped in like so far and I was like, this place is crazy, but I wanted like an actual organic reaction to this build. So I stepped right on out and I'm like, I have to remember to, to show it. So here we are. All right. So where am I? Okay. I think it's over here. I believe it is over here. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sad to myself, y'all. Oh. So, this was Vault 49, and I obviously the portals are closed. So, I think this is China Man if I recall the, the the name so I wanted to go in here and I wanted to show you guys I am such a huge fan of the fallout IP 
And so when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this vault looks amazing. Like just the ingenuity of using the, the different blocks to make that look, just the, the vault opening. And it's closed. I'm sad to myself. I am. Oh, Chinaman, you just broke my heart. Okay. All right. Well, um, let's see. This pirate gym. I'm going to go over here. I'm, I'm sad, y'all. <laughs> I'm really sad about this. Oh, well, I'm going to go over here to pirate gym and see what pirate gym is up to. Oh, pirate gym, you've got like a medieval thing going. Without the work, the magic won't come. This is cute. This is really cute. What's in here? This is like your workshop. Oh. Okay. Spacious. You got you got a lot going on down here. Okay, this is a whip for sure. This is a massive workshop. You know what this reminds me of? And I'm going to compare, you know, of course. But this is um, very, very reminiscent of Pierre. Yeah, even the greenhouse. Is this a greenhouse? This is very reminiscent of one Pyrrhosis. And I like the style. Every last bit of it, I really like this. Ooh, look at that, that like sunburst or that sunrise. Um, dang, this is good. Let me see. Yeah, I like this. Let me see if I get a good angle. Uh, what's yeah if now see now this is a greenhouse that reminds me of here but they've got their own style and that's how you do it Ooh, watch your step okay when you come up here just watch your step okay so really cool I don't know who pirate Jim is but they're apparently a reaper and and uh, I like it I like it a lot I I do Beware of chickens. They can be real peckers. I like a good pun. I like a lot of things, don't I? Is there anything I don't like? Is there anything I don't like? I don't know. I don't know. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, all right. Let's go check out one more portal. I was hoping I would get up and up and... What is that? Is that like a weighted system? Oh, it's a crane. Okay, so this is kind of like a mixture to me of Autumn Dell and Pyrrhosis. Actually, two of my favorite builds in this entire game. Autumn Dell, Pyrrhosis' area, of course, a lot of Reapers, and I mean, just, I have a list, okay? I have a nice list of some of my favorite areas, some of my favorite builds, but this is very reminiscent of, um, well, you know what? So yeah, I, I I would uh I would see who who is this person. I don't want to use that. All right, you know what they said, doodads. Okay, okay. All right, all right. All right. Um, 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 um. Let's see if I can find the portal. I feel like I came through this way. Did I? Yeah, I did. I love this. This is so nice. Beautiful area. Look at this anvil. This is a blacksmith area. This is so good. All right. Um, I was right here. Okay, okay. Let's go back through. No, I am officially lost. Hmm. I must have came through this way. Hmm. And maybe this is Moon's area. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. You can tell me in the comments below. All right. So this is this the portal? Is this the portal room? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Did I come through this door? Oh, there's a there's something there. I was trying to get through it so bad. Mm. I might just sanctum my way back because obviously. Pigs can get lost in a cracker box. So, Eureka, I found my way back. Okay. So, uh, one more portal. I just want to go in the grid 
Um, we've all seen Galdrian's Manor. So I, I just figured I would go down this like line. Um, I'm really sad to myself that I cannot go into Chinaman's area. Um, I really wanted you guys to see this vault build because it was outstanding. So we're going to check out Lyra's area. Um, and that'll, that'll round it up for this video. So <sighs> I'm really sad about that, y'all. I'm, I'm really sad about that. Oh, dang. Okay, so I remember stepping through this portal and like, where was I? Was it last week or week before? I think it was last week and I didn't, I didn't see this. I saw this, okay? I went over here because I was immediately, immediately drawn to this. Like, oh my gosh. First of all, it was the color. The color is striking, right? And But just the, the shape, you know? She's got curves. She's thick, you know? I like, I like it, you know? She is saying something. She is like, I'm gonna wear this black dress, you know? Okay, no, no, she's not saying that. I'm sorry. But Lyra, you and I are best friends now because if this is what I think it is, you and I like the same style. However, <laughs> you put mine to shame. And this is not like competition or anything. I am, I am the first, I can be a big girl here. And I firmly admit that this looks way better than anything I could ever, ever put together like the just this build alone but then you've got this green beauty right here that is calling my name right I just want to get up close and personal with the build no you don't pixie I keep saying that I keep saying that all right so uh yeah I'm gonna go in here I want to see what this is there oh this is like a is this like a a receptionist desk or like a bench or something okay now y'all know I'm not going up those stairs so there might be something beautiful up there but I'm not going up there I'm just not I'm not going up there the vertigo is real in some of these places I'm telling you I got just like a touch of vertigo it I just do so um, I, I, I am so en enamored with these builds that I think I made a new friend of Boundless. Now she may not know me, but I, I, I want I want to I I want to say that I am a fan. I'm a fan. You got a fan. You got a fan in me. I'm not a stalker. I promise you I'm not crazy. But we are now friends. We are now. Friends from afar, because pigs don't have no friends. Not really. Not in the game, anyways. Not in the game. Am I the victim? And did I just victim did I just victimize myself? I think I just victim I'm not I think I did. I'm not I'm not saying that no you know what? I'm just gonna dig myself into a deeper hole <laughs> that I really meant to. I meant that as a joke, but I was like, I sound real sad right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some people are like, yeah, that girl is nuts. Okay. So um they also have like this kind of uh oh, okay. Like old school style versus the new style I like the separation here this might be two different people building but I feel like this might be the same person building um, let me just grapple up this way here yeah look at that let me just lower myself down it's got like a an L train going like a futuristic L train um, and uh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Let me. Oh gosh. I just want to. I was about to say it again. I just want to see. Yeah, this is. 
artistry right here. Look at the build. I'm speechless. I have no words. I love this build. I'm telling you, this person and I are friends. We are best friends now. You, we, We're like this now. I mean, we have the same I, I guess maybe maybe it's not even cyberpunk maybe it's like an homage to like japan you know and and i am just completely wrong <laughs> about that and it, yeah it could be the homage to all things hong kong and i'm like yeah this is cyberpunk <laughs> but i love it but honestly i think cyberpunk is the homage to Japan, because if you go to like Hong Kong, which I've never been, which is one of my dream places to visit, um, it is some of the more techy, futuristic bu buildings and places. That's why, like, I love all like the vending machine thing. And I'm I'm a country girl, y'all. I am. I am literally from the country, like farmland, cows wake up in the morning and smell pigs and chickens, kind of thing. That kind of country girl played in the woods, put dirt on my face, played G.I. Joe. That's the kind of country girl that I am, yet I can still pull off boots and a dress. I don't know. But anyways, I am, yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this. Just cough clap, cough clap. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys. So that is it for today. I'm going to um, try to uh, show you guys more of HOD in the next coming episodes, so you guys get a little a little taste of HOD as we progress. It's definitely something that is going to be an ongoing with because um, we are we're we're working on it, you know, slowly but surely. Um, and some of us are slower builds than others, slower builders than others. That would be me. But um, I, I just want to show off my my friend's talents. I'm not so much worried about me, but more or less about what you guys have going on, which is why I do what I do. I want to show y'all, the people of Boundless and people that don't watch Boundless and happen across my channel. By the way, y'all, thank you so much for 600 subscribers. That is crazy. I don't know why even 600 people would be crazy enough to watch little me I'm serious because I know it's may not be like this huge number to some people to a lot of people but to me that's that is insane that 600 people would even want to subscribe and watch one video let alone like a few minutes so I really appreciate that and I'm grateful and hopefully the channel will keep on growing um, I yeah so just out of curiosity before I let y'all go, if there's anything that um, you want me to see in the game um, and that, that you perhaps came across or um, a build of your own, would you be so kind and, to, and messaging me either on the forum, y'all know how to find me on the forum, or if you want to message me in the game, by all means, please do. Um, I would love to come stop by. If you want to give me some history, um, I always appreciate that, the whys of your build, uh, what you were thinking, um, who built it if it wasn't you, um, anything that would be just some cool information, background information about your settlement or your build or what have you. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, Hidden Gems. I certainly did. Have I had a lot of fun running around as I usually do. Of course, I do the random rambling. I apologize for that if that is annoying to you, but hey! That is the type of person that I am. So, anyways, guys, I will see you next time. I have been Pixelated Twix. Uh, she is Luna Cheryl.